Welcome to Inside Cotton. I'm your host today, Richard Faust, Community Services General Manager, and um, I, I'm I, I have props today. This is awesome. Man. <laughs> I, I, I I've been doing this for almost three years, and I've never had props, and um, uh, I, I, maybe one, but it wasn't really that good. <laughs> Um, and so I'm surrounded by props today. So this is really exciting for me. But the other thing is that I'm really excited about is we get to talk about uh, the Comic Expo that's uh, coming to Cottonwood on April 1st. Now, I know that April 1st is April Fool's Day, but <laughs> folks, get this through your, your memory, is at the Cottonwood Recreation Center on April 1st, um, there's gonna be a comic exposition. It's gonna be a comic expo, and it's gonna be really great. And so let me, let me introduce um, uh, you know, the guys that are gonna be putting this on, and we'll be talking a little bit about how, how they do this and what they're gonna be doing and who's gonna be there and everything else, so it'll be kind of fun. This is Jan Mark uh, Kwasambin, and he's the comic book creator uh, as well as an art teacher and an event planner. And yeah, I guess I am it, now. AKA, right? what else? Um, <laughs> dad, uh, grocery shopper. Okay, and <laughs> I like that. Jack of all trades. Yeah, I'll meet you at the grocery store. Right, yeah. Okay, <laughs> and uh, with us also is uh, Jeff Clark. Jeff's an avid gamer yep. uh, who works at uh, the Cottonwood Library as a part-time aide. Now, Jeff, you also worked at the library for four years prior to that as a library clerk. Yep. So you know a lot about library, and I'll be asking a little bit more about the library at yep. the end in segment three of our conversations today. But now we're going we're gonna to talk to both Jan, Mark, and Jeff pertaining to this year's annual Comic Expo. This is our second year yes. uh, in the program, which will be held April 1st at the Cottonwood Recreation Center Gymnasium from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m., yes. correct? Yep. Okay. And there you go. Wow, there's, there's the comic book right there. And uh, so you've got that. Um, and that's what all the props around me um, are like. So as we, we prepare for this, um, with that out of the way, um, uh, I want you guys to give a little bit more information about you know, the Comic Expo. So Jan Mark, uh, you're a transplant to Sedona uh, from New Jersey yes. and a comic book creator, art teacher, and event planner. You refer to yourself, uh, and you have it on your shirt here, yeah, as an, the, the Janimal, right? Yes. Janimal. So you've taught for Yavapai Colleges, College for Kids summer program. Yes, last You have year. a cartooning class? I'm at the library, Cottonwood Library, first Saturdays of the month. So it's a workshop? Yes, yeah. Um, I tell parents, bring your children. We will draw things. And, you know, they've told me, well, my child's four and, you know, is it okay? I'm like, if a child can sit for two hours and draw, great. If they can say, stay for only 10 minutes, that's fine. At least, you know, we're drawing and we're, we're creating, so it's, it, that's always fun. Creating. There yes, you go. yes. That's it. So it's at the library, first Saturday of the month from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. Yes. Um, but April is going to switch. It'll be the second Saturday because the first Saturday we Oh, are we have this. Yes. That's right. Yes. So we've, we've got the expo, the comic expo. Yes. Okay. So um, now, uh, what else about you, Jan Mark? Anything additional you want um, to say? I mean, in, in the context of your background, your I was, interests? I was always a child who liked to draw. Yes. Whether it was, um, you know, you have a book report, feels like a B minus, slap a nice little cover on and gets it up to like a nice strong B. <laughs> um, so I went, I went, you know, I always loved to draw. Uh, I went to art school for it and um, didn't really start doing comics till probably four years ago where yes. I decided, oh, I had this idea. Um, I went went to a publisher and pitched the idea. I said, "Well, hey, give me five pages," and I did my first five page story. It's like my it's a it's about my son and he has a, a stuffed big bad monkey that he still has. He's seven now, and it's my love letter to Calvin and Hobbes. And they just go on adventures. And awesome. he'll always ask me, "Hey, what's issue two? I'm like, "I know, Daddy promises you, and it will happen." But <laughs> I love that. <laughs> That's great. That's really cool, Jeff. You know, you're you're the uh, the certified video game developer, yeah. uh, and currently you're working on finishing your associate's degree. You're taking some time off. Yep. Uh, you love comic book movies, and yes. uh, uh, you're an avid gamer. Um, again, I stated that you'd work four years at the Cottonwood Library's yep. uh, teen library uh, programs. You taught various workshops and classes, including Lego robotics and video game development workshops. Yep. And uh, your direction now, uh, you just had indicated that you're probably looking at starting next semester in computer um, networking, networking technology. There we go. So, so computer yeah. networking technology, and uh, so so we got that information. Okay, so here we go. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna make a really quick change here. <laughs> and, uh, Where's your phone, Booth? Because I oh, am, see, there you go. Yeah, so I'm gonna do this, and um, 
I am a Marvel comic fan. I I am too. And so I'm going to get this off and um, hopefully hang on. And 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 if you have a problem with with Marvel, um, uh, they've just had had better movies the last couple of years. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna rehook up here so I don't (laughs) give. So that that there you go. Oh, that, that's awesome. <laughs> now um, we're gonna do another one here because I'm 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 having a hidden layer here, and this <laughs> is also this is Superman and all the names of Superman and all that's really cool. Now that's my son. Oh, cool. So oh, okay. so DC and uh, the ho- a house divided. Some that, days. That, the house divided <laughs> somewhat. And um, so I apologize and lose my mic here again. So we won't let that happen again. Um, but you're showing your geek. I, I'm so showing my right. background because in the late 60s, uh, actually mid 60s, by the age of 10, um, uh, actually before that, by 7, 8, 9, 10, I was fully into comic books okay. and um, started into high school. And I still was reading comic books in high school and in college. And it was just kind of one of those things I enjoyed it. So that's why I'm excited about today. That's this awesome. is fun. I'm glad. You see, I mean, you can see some of this here, and there's all of these. And I, you know, I, I feel like I need to move this one a little oh, bit it's closer. Oh, it's gonna fall. It's a little closer. Yeah. Um, no, yeah, I, it's, it's, I can't really do that. It's, too a, it's much. a delicate balance. Yeah, it's a delicate. Yeah. Oh, there we go. We got a long shot here. So, but every time you get a close up of, of Jan Mark, I had to push the Star Wars, you know, <laughs> uh, right there. And, and so we're getting all of that now. Um, uh, both of you are involved in the Comic Expo yes. planning mm-hmm. process. How are you guys holding up so far? Because it's only like one month away. Coffee's a wonderful <laughs> thing. Coffee's a wonderful thing like in college. Caffeine. I remember yeah, that yeah, stuff. Coffee, it was uh, great. I had a lot of coffee Mountain Dew today. <laughs> it's, it's, I mean, it's going well. It's, it's a lot of wrangling and kind of mm-hmm. like, hey, you know, did you want to do this event? This is the information. We have deadlines, deadlines, deadlines. Um, right now, the, there is no room at the inn. It is officially like I feel that we're closed. We're closed. So yeah. now that Jeff and I can now start planning, putting yeah. everybody in, you know, using the space of the gymnasium. Awesome. Um, just because the gymnasium, it's a nice big gymnasium. Yeah. I, go, like, when I walked in, I'm going, wow, go Cottonwood. Yeah, it's a good place. <laughs> yeah, so I'm excited just to see it used for something different other than what's normally, you know, it's different. Like you, last year was in the conference rooms when I'm like, is right. this going to work? And then um, when Ann like set it up, I'm going, Ann, this works. Like it's yeah. good. You know, it got a little crowded, you know, but now like now we're in the gym, so I'm like, oh, it'll it'll be this expansion. It, yeah, and it's it, I figured oh that's like four road. years down the road of the old well the gym, and then Vanessa said, would you like to try? I'm like, if they will let us, please. And so yeah. now like all right, we're cool. It'll, yeah. it'll, it'll work. That's yeah. awesome. So what are the missions and goals of this event? For me, it's I think because I learned how I, I literally learned how to read. Um, with comics, like I read Spider-Man, that's how I learned how to read. So it, enc- it encourages reading. So the simplest, most approachable way, it's a comic book. You know, if it's characters that are, that are happy and approachable, kids can read it. it it's, you know, it's, it's America's Apple Pie comic book. Yeah. So, that's it. you know, the, it just made sense to ask the library, hey, look, would you want to do this? And they said, last year they said, yeah, let's try it. And then again, it's like, would you want to do it again this year? It's like, yeah, let's try it and let's try the gym. So it's just, it's, it encourages reading. Um, I like the fact that a lot of our guests are from the area. Yeah. Um, so they can, so people, mm. if, if you're that child who's got that weird idea about, you know, a drawing or a story you want to do, how do you do it? Meet somebody who does it. Like, yeah, I have, yes, you know, we have day jobs, some of us. Um, but then it affords us the luxury of when we get home to unplug from the day job, and now I get to go create something. There you go. I so like the creation aspect. It's just yeah, it's smile. just it's fun, and then it's nice when when a child goes, oh, how do you draw that? I'm like, well, this is how you draw it. You know, this is I break everything down by shapes, and I'm like, really, it's just this. Yeah. You know, people are like, oh, I can only draw stick figures. I'm like, well, draw me a stick figure. See, you've just drawn a shape of someone moving. You know, I just add you just add more to it, but it's just. It's still the same idea. Got it. So it, that's I just it. That's way cool. Yeah, I just want people to be able to you. Know, you can meet writers and and artists, um, and just it's just it's it's for the area. It's just something different, you mm-hmm. know. And it's very family friendly. That's what that's what I like about it. Well, we're we're, we're moving really quickly here, but um, and we look great. <laughs> I know. <right? laughs> um, and we're gonna we're gonna take a break for right now, and we'll be right back. So come back and enjoy the second segment, and then the third segment after that that one. But we're gonna take a break here right now from both of these guys, both Jeff and and Jan Mark, and we'll come right back with them. So please join us again. Um, Richard Faust, your host uh, for Inside Cottonwood.
The Q102.9 plays all the hits. Yo, what's going on? This is Trissy Dre. Ariana Grande. Maroon 5. This is Rihanna. I'm Mateo. I'm Shawn Mendes. Hey, it's Bruno Mars. Ed Sheeran. What's up, guys? It's Justin Bieber. You're listening to The Weeknd. I'm a star. Start your day with Brian James in the morning. You'll get at least 10 songs in a row during your ride home with Julie Page. Zach Sang Show. Catch The Zach Sang Show weeknights 7 to midnight. And Kelly Fox weekends on your home for hit music. The Q102.9. And 104.9 in Prescott and Cottonwood. Hello and uh, welcome back to Inside Cottonwood. I'm your host today, Richard Faust, Community Services General Manager for the City of Cottonwood. And if you weren't with us from the beginning, we're talking about Cottonwood and having a comic expo. And it's going to be an incredible thing. Uh, there you go, right up there on, on the screen there. It's going to be our second year, our second annual comic expo. It's going to be at the uh, Cottonwood Recreation Center Gymnasium. And it's going to be on April 1st from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. So we're going to make sure that we want, you, you get that written on your calendar or on your phone or wherever you would like to. But um, we've, we've got Jeff Clark here and we've got Jan, Jan Mark. And, and both you guys, um, so... You know, we talked a little bit about the event. What are your hopes with this second show? Um, can I go can I take that first? Yeah, okay. feel free. <laughs> so go my, my goal is that um, attendance uh, grows. Yeah. Because we have more, um, there are more things going on. Mm -hmm. um, I hope that it becomes an annual thing where people make time to schedule, hey, April, we should go up to Conwood for the expo. Let's make a weekend out of it. Mm -hmm. You know, it's a, it's a good time of year. I just, it's... I want to be able to introduce comics to to people who just who don't who don't think oh that's just that little hokey thing like no it's not it's actually you know one it's a big industry it's a very yeah, popular it thing is. Um, like every you know every place has a comic con or comic book show and yeah you know I just my hope is that people just it becomes very normal for people to think oh okay yeah that's comics yes I know they have movies this is this is an event I can go to it um, I like the fact that it's that it's affordable to get into yeah. You know, That's for true. families, you know, and it's it's in, it's literally in your backyard. You don't have to drive That's two right. hours; you can drive ten minutes. Yes. You know, and still spend time and get the same experience. You know, it's it's. I know there there are bigger shows. We understand that, but this is this is no different than those bigger shows. You know, it's it's a bigger venue we have it in. It's local, so I just I like the fact that it's local. You know, that it might bring in outside visitors to to the area. You know, like enjoy the birdie. You know, come, yeah, for, the, come for the comics, nice stay, for, stay for the birdie. Yeah, well, I mean, you know, my my 19 year old son, uh, I'll bring him into that oh, specifically awesome. because um, it, it, it's he went down for the Phoenix right. uh, oh, Comic okay. Con, and so they had to sp spend two nights in mm -hmm. hotels and a lot of dinero, yes. lots of money, <laughs> yes. guys. And so they were food and everything together. Mm -hmm. They spent a lot of money going down there. Oh, yeah. So he'll be coming to this one as well, but you know, it's a big difference because you don't have to. If you're local here, yeah. come to it and enjoy it in the, throughout the Birdie Valley. Yeah. Uh, if, if you're seeing this from Flagstaff or Prescott or wherever, come on over to the Birdie Valley because there's gonna be a lot of fun. Um, Talk to me about what's the Northern Arizona Cartoonist Association. So we are a group of, <laughs> <laughs> um, we are. I think we're we're entering our second year. Um, we're a group of professional cartoonists and writers, um, comic artists, and we just we, like I said, some of us have day, we have day jobs, but then we create when we're not at work, um, and we just. Want to help people who have who want to, who want to break into the industry. Mm -hmm. um, what should I do? How should I? You know, I've never done a show before. How do you set up a table? We just want to be able to offer some sage advice. Like this is what I would do. You know, to set up my table, or this is what I would do if, if I'm gonna if you want to create a comic book. Um, it, you know, multiples of four when you're making your book, so that you know that you don't have those weird errant white pages. Things I never really thought about when I was like, oh, I just draw something and I throw on the page, it's fine. And then someone's like, no, this is, it has to match up so that when the printer makes it, it's a book. I'm like, oh. Yeah. So it's just little things like, you know, how to price your art. But we just want to be able to introduce comics to the area. Um, and we're very approachable. And like, I will, you know, I can talk all day about this. Be like, he can. I, yeah, I, I can. can. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are good. But we just, we just want to be able to, especially this area, promote comics, promote reading and literacy. Yeah. You know, creativity. Yes. And you know, like if you don't if you have this idea and you don't know yet what to do with it, we'll help you refine it and then you can take that and go with it, you know, wherever you want with it and see what see where it takes you. That's awesome. Yeah, and again I think that that connection with the library mm -hmm. um, reading yes. you know gets all right in there. Now okay, so what can we expect to see or to do at this year's comic expo? 
Um, so we have we have new guests, which are which is great. Uh, oh, we we have several writers who have mm -hmm. worked for Marvel and DC. Oh, that'll be awesome. Yeah, um, yeah. Uh, Brian Augustine is is a he wrote Batman Gotham by Gaslight. It's one of my favorite Batman stories, and I'm not trying to you know. Um, it just really is. It's Batman yeah. versus Jack the Ripper. Oh, wow. It's cool. Okay. You know, it's at the like, library. Yes, yeah. we, we went out of our way. Oh, that's <laughs> yeah. awesome. Because of him. It's like, you know, books you should have in your collection. That's one of them. Um, Mike Mignola did the art. He created Hellboy. So it was one of like the, his, first, oh, wow. his okay. first works. I remember getting when I was little. Um, you need all that on the screen there, too. So you get quite a bit oh, of stuff. Oh, cool, so yeah. that's, that's just awesome. Um, so you got the ambition and everything out there. So. Yeah, I try to just knock everything all the info out. You did. knocked it out of the ballpark. No questions asked. This is what's going on. We're flying out, um, Country Bank was very nice to give a donation, so we're flying out Christian Jeruso is an artist, he's worked on uh, for Marvel Comics and Image Comics, and he's coming from New York, and he has, it's beautiful art that he does, um, it's family friendly, it's probably some of the best work I've seen, and I asked him, hey, you know, can you come out, it'd be great, you know, you've never been to Arizona, they've never met you before, they'd just be amazed with all your work, so he's coming out for the show. Um, so it's just, it's nice that, you know, we'll have, uh, we always have a we have different well we have panels about yeah. um, there's an artist sketch off which is kind of a nice thing where you know you have a bunch of artists at, at a dais and we'll say oh uh, Batman so someone will say I'll draw Batman and you see them just create on the spot yeah wow. in like a time like you've got hey you've got ten minutes knock it out and hey I, I drew this yeah um, we'll have I think we're gonna do a panel about self publishing and what that entails and the the love and the the headaches that come with it, <laughs> um, and I think we're also doing a panel on art, art sketch off, self publishing, and gaming. So we're gonna have um, so you got gaming too. Then. Yeah, because it's so it, it encompasses everything. Um, oh, yeah. Daniel Frank's one of our one of our NASCA members. It will be moderating it, and I think I believe Tom Felsinger, who is a professor at, at NAU, who owns his own gaming company, uh, will be talking also. So it's just you know like you just you meet people like oh. You're this, but you also do this. Like, I would never have thought that. Like some people think, yeah. "Oh, are you a dancer?" No, but I draw. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So you draw. Yeah, I draw. <laughs> well, what's gaming and cosplay? Can you explain what exactly that is? Well, gaming is—it's an extremely broad term. There's so much that you can throw under gaming. Card games, you know. You go to the casino, you play blackjack, that's that's gaming. That's gaming. Um, then you've got your video games, your dice games. I mean, it's it's huge. So um, everything from Tetris to, oh, you yeah. know, the, oh, yeah. that's all the, the, the aspect of. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, okay, from so. From Pong. <laughs> yeah, there you go. The good yeah. old days of Pong. Okay. That, I mean, that's where video games got their start, but gaming is, I mean, it goes back forever. That's, it's like board games, especially. Yeah, board games. Um, I learned recently how to play something called Magic the Gathering. Oh, that's a fan. And fantastic And it it was very complicated. It's a lot of math. I was like, that was a lot of math involved <laughs> in this. Okay, <laughs> how many lives do I have left? What is how many spins is this? What? Okay, and I'm, yeah. a, I'm an orc now. But it was really cool, and it was just something you know. I I picked up a set, um, on the cheap at a at a thrift store. I learned that even though there are a current edition, so that's if you're doing tournaments, you have to have that current edition. Mm -hmm. But the old editions. Are interchangeable. You can just make and mix and match and play. And oh, yeah. I played for the first time. I won. That's that was awesome, kind of cool. It's like right on. <laughs> Good job. Um, but I was like, okay, because like you know, I I've heard about them. I've, I've I've seen people play them. I, I don't follow. But then once you actually work out the mechanics, you go, yeah. oh, okay, that's what it is. Um, with cosplay, cosplay is I guess good example. If you ever see uh, when they show video from Phoenix Comic Con, or even if you go on um, uh, on the Verde Independent or uh, Cotwood Journal, they're um, the from the photo album. When you see someone dressed up as Batman, and it's almost yes. authentic. Wow! Yeah, you know, there are people who they, they it's it's a lot of it's a lot of it's craft, yeah. they, right? And they enjoy dressing up as their favorite superhero, supervillain, or video game or movie character. Yeah, and they inhabit that role. Well, like, it's the same thing as, as Star Wars. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. I mean, because oh, you huge. see these guys and they're just yeah. They were, <laughs> we're gonna show that again. Yeah, He's right, right here in the center. Best and, dollar you know, investment. <laughs> that's, it's 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 incredible because they mm -hmm. look exactly. You know, like like oh, yeah. right on oh, yeah. movies. They they get it really good. Yeah, they and really then, do. So I'm really impressed. As an artist, it's great when I meet cosplayers because I can take a photo with them, and it's like if ever I just want to draw this character, I have a literally a yeah. visual physical person who looks like Iron Man and go, oh, that's how the helmet looks like, or oh, that's yes. how the light hits it from the angle. Um, when I was at Comic Con in New York, they had a bunch of stormtroopers. And movie realistic, and Very. someone someone asked them, "Hey, can you can you turn over here?" And they said, "Yeah, sure." And it was the voice like you heard in the movie, and I just lost it. I was oh, like, "Oh yeah, 
Yeah, they well get done. Good, yeah, yeah. Well, they done. put they put a lot of time and effort into and money, their stuff. You know, it's oh, money. yeah, money, money. It's, you know, it's, yeah. Well, let's um, let's take another. We're going to take another break okay. here, and we'll get into our third segment here with a little bit more information on the expo and maybe a little bit more from you guys. All right. And uh, I'm your host today. Uh, join us for our third segment here after a minute break. Um, um, Richard Faust, Community Services General Manager for the City of Cottonwood. Q102.9 plays all the hits. Yo, what's going on? This is Trissy Drake. Ariana Grande. I'm Maroon 5. This is Rihanna. I'm Adele. I'm Shawn Mendes. Hey, it's Bruno Mars. Ed Sheeran. What's up, guys? It's Justin Bieber. You're listening to The Weeknd. Start your day with Brian James in the morning. You'll get at least 10 songs in a row during your ride home with Julie Page. Zach Sang Show. Catch The Zach Sang Show weeknights 7 to midnight. And Kelly Fox weekends on your home for hit music. The Q102.9. And 104.9 in Prescott and Cottonwood. Welcome back to Inside Cottonwood. I'm your host, Richard Faust, Community <laughs> Services General Manager, and we're talking Comic Expo, uh, as you can well see. And <laughs> so, uh, you know, we're, we're in our, our third segment here, and these guys are great, and so I really enjoy, uh, you know, both having Jeff Clark here as well as uh, Jan Mark uh, Quisambin, and, you know, it's, it's a great thing to take off on some of this. And so I'm going to start this right off, and, um, you know, as I was showing you both DC, Marvel, all right, guys, um, you know, <laughs> Which one, Marvel or DC, and why? I have, I am Marvel all day, every day. Yes. I think just because I I like the characters more, and I think they just did, but they did better with the movies when 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 all those movies came became mm -hmm. popular. Um, yeah, I'm just a Marvel guy. I mean, my friend Dave is he's DC, and he'll try to convert me. You know, I'm like there are things I like, you know, but I'm just I'm a sp Spider. If if I could not be Spider Man, I wanted to draw Spider Man. Exactly. So yeah. I am a Marvel guy. Okay. <laughs> yeah, Marvel all the way, same. Marvel all the same way. <laughs> yeah. Now I you... love I love Batman, but that's the only DC character that I'm all for. Other than that, it's you know. Iron Man is the best. We could, we could spend like a whole hour. Yeah. Uh, you know, and that was the thing is I knew that we could. Oh um, you know, I was just like, do we even want to broach this subject? <laughs> but I thought, might as well. And, uh, you know, just there's a lot off. of people yeah, that cut us off. Talk. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there's a lot of people I talk to in the Verde Valley, they're very similar. You know, again, mm -hmm. because I think the, 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 the process went as Marvel just really hammered it quick. Mm -hmm. And they got it out they there. They have an idea. They did, yeah. they did an incredible job. And uh, with what they had, and you guys just indicated that you'd just seen Logan. Yes. And, um, uh, you know, four, four hours of sleep right now. Yeah. I, oh, okay. Well, that's part of the reason why we're just having so much fun. <laughs> right. um, you know, and, and and you said coffee, so here yeah. we go. Um, but okay, so we've got that. On. I, I am a Marvel fan, so uh, that's good. So we're all right here together. Right so we're at the same table here. We'll probably get calls later about <laughs> people saying you guys are a bunch of clowns and you don't know what you're talking about. Um, so. Um, you know, what part does the Cottonwood Library, you know, play in the Verde Valley Comic Expo? Jeff, I'll let you take so that. So for the for the expo, um, we're the ones who are. Uh, You're the what host. am I? Yeah, the host. We're we're the ones hosting it. Right. Um, so and it is it's like that it's the learn to read program yeah basically yeah. all tied up into comics. It's just yeah. yeah, and and the thing with this is that. All the all the profit that we get from this goes directly towards the library summer reading program, which we have for both adults and for kids. Um, and so the summer reading program is exactly that. It's a um, it's a drive to get kids and teens and adults to read more, um, especially during the summer when you know kids are out of school, they're not doing anything, and so. Uh, memory retention for schoolwork, and so it's just a an attempt to get them to read and continue to be active with uh, educating themselves. That's great. So it's it's worked out really well. Yeah. With that, and and there's so many people who love the Cottonwood Library here oh, in yeah. our community, and and you know I mean I think that in the same context when you look at. Um, uh, what is it? Bookmarks. Yep. And and how, Jeff, tell us how Bookmarks works. Okay. So Bookmarks, uh, Cottonwood Bookmarks is the Friends of the Library group for the Cottonwood Library. Um, they have a book sale, a 
it's always open um, where you can go in, you can buy books, um, and all the money you spend on those books directly benefits the library. It goes into helping buy more books for the library itself. Um, it goes into helping buy equipment and uh, different stuff for like the Verde Valley SciTech Festival. I see. Um, they helped buy uh, uh, steam kits, um, so different like toys, quote unquote toys, okay. uh, that the kids can come in every day and they can go into the steam kits and they can pull one out and just mess around with it. So we've got stuff like snap circuits where they're literally building an electronic circuit Wow! Out of just snap toys, it's, right. and so it's we've got a bunch of different kits like that, um, and bookmarks helps fund. I mean, without them, the library, <laughs> you know. Yeah, I know. So um, you know, and they they do so much even with the technology and the new technology yes. that's come up. Um, you know, buying a lot of that, um, mm -hmm. you know, specifically for reading. Uh, you, you know, um, as people basically. Uh, process their books out or in or yeah. anything else, and so um, so it's really quite a, um, a a wonderful thing to have the Cottonwood Bookmarks on board. Oh, so definitely. What is the Book Boutique? So the Book Boutique that is their book sale area. Okay. And it's a corner of the library that is, uh, sorry, uh, oh, right fine. inside of the door, um, off to the right when you walk in through the main entrance from the parking lot. Um, that's where they keep all their book sale. Uh, books, I, they have movies, DVDs, VHS. DVDs go quick though, so yes, yeah. you know, they if, do, we, yeah, they do. if there's any DVDs there, you have to grab them quick if you want them, because if you say, I'll come in tomorrow, that they're gonna be they're gone. gone. Yeah. yeah, they really so are. So the book boutique is just their book sale area. Okay, well so now, getting, getting back to the Comic Expo, mm -hmm. don't call this a mini Comic Con. No. Why? Yeah, I, I kind of take offense to it. Like I understand, you know, you can phrase it that way, but yeah. It is, it's a comic book convention. There you go. You know, it's mm -hmm. not, it's just, it's held, in, it's actually, it's kind of like the way comic book shows used to be back in the 80s, you know, it's just, it's, it was in a gymnasium or a church basement and you would just meet some, you'd see guys, vendors selling their books, um, you'd meet some local artists who, you know, years later became these popular creators. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it's not, you know, it, it's just, it's like any big show, it's just, at a smaller scale, but it's not a mini Comic Con. It's, All right. it's yeah. a comic book convention. It's a comic book expo. There are, you know, there are informative panels. You know, you'll see people dressed up as cosplayers. We have mm -hmm. cosplay guests coming up. Yep. Um, Arizona Avengers. And, That's awesome. Um, the Justice League of Arizona, uh, Deadpool Corps, and um, the Prescott Ghostbusters. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> yeah. You know, and they and they they these the cosplayers they they they're, they come to play. Like you yeah. know, they're it's they take their craft um, to heart. Real seriously. Yeah, yeah seriously. I mean, oh. even going back to the cosplay question from earlier, um, they, they're in character. They don't just dress up. Yes, that is they, true, yes. They are 100% in character. You you know, you're like, oh my, are you straight from the movie? Yeah. <laughs> so, which is, which is I mean, for, they're for in little character. kids, it's great. Yeah, yes, Especially for the little kids. Well, even my, um, I, okay, and I'll just, I'll give you this, because I, I said, uh, to my wife, because uh, this was just yesterday, so I got chastised by my 15, year, <laughs> 15 and a half year old daughter. Uh, she said, Dad, it's not a Comic Con. This is a Comic Expo. <laughs> and I was like, wow, she's got this down, but see, she volunteers at the library. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. so so she she basically let Dad have it. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> yeah, so just, it went through. So I'm saying, you know, the Comic yeah, Expo. Yeah. Now, here we are. This is so. a uh, variations on a theme, but it's just there's comic books. Um, there's gaming, which is nice, and you'll just you'll meet like it's just a, a chance to meet writers and artists who worked in the industry or who are yeah. local creators. Like in, even in, within Cottonwood, Sedona, uh, Prescott, uh, Prescott, and Prescott Valley, you know there are there's we're here. Yeah. You know, and moving out here, I thought I'm the only one, but then it just took a while. But like, oh hi. Yeah. There a there is a community. Of, yeah. yeah. You know, we we just do our own thing, and every once we'll meet up and go, hey, what, you, what are you working on? Cool. Do you need help? Okay. Well. Do this or do this, and oh hey, you know, do you have like yeah? Here you go. So yeah. it's just you know we you, we try our best to su to support each other. That's great. So this is one of those areas where you can just meet people like hi, I do this. Like, cool. Yeah. So now, is there an admittance and fee? I, I mean, a fee to, for admittance into the program? Five dollars. Five dollars. Um, kids under ten are free. Cool. If you bring two canned goods, the admission is three dollars. All right. So it's just nice that you know we, we can encourage literacy. We can help those who are who are in need or, or not in need, um, just with food. Yeah. So um, kids and you know kids can come and 
just experience it, you know. Because sometimes you can't, like I said, you can't drive two hours down, two hours yeah. up, and spend X Y Z dollars just to park and this and that. That's right. So and at least just to get in. Yeah. Th yeah. I mean, ad admittance is. So at least be... just the fact that it's affordable for everybody to come in and just have a good time. Yeah. It's going to be a great, uh, a great time, great yes. day. Oh yeah. You guys. Um, food trucks. Yeah. yeah food, food trucks. trucks. <laughs> yeah. And uh, it, it'll be a lot of fun, and we can't it's wait exciting. for this yeah, it is. this year and then next year yes, and how this progresses. Oh yeah. And because it's going to progress, I think so. And I think it's, you know, the, oh, I, I, I'm excited. To, I am yeah. too. To see so where it goes, it, it'll go well. Mm -hmm. I I just want to thank you guys for being thank on you. the show today thank you. and yeah. uh, taking time out of your busy schedules. <laughs> you guys are busy. You're busy people, <laughs> and you know a lot of people. Coffee's and a good coffee's thing. A good thing. Coffee. You got to always remember that. <laughs> yes. And if you bring uh, me coffee to the show. You get a sketch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyone, coffee sketch. And, it's and, you're um, gonna get like. Ten coffees. That's fine. Yeah, yeah. It's a long day. I'm going to if you get, yeah, and if you, if, <laughs> if you can, um, you know, definitely make sure that you uh, schedule your time out for uh, mm -hmm. ten o'clock to five o'clock yeah. for April first on April Fool's Day, and enjoy the <laughs> it's comic not a joke. expo. It's not a joke. It's not happening. A joke. It's happening. It's happening. You're going to have a lot of fun. <laughs> so, um, so join Jan Mark as well as Jeff there, and a lot of other people that just love the comic book industry, the comics, and then also uh, cosplay. All of this is going to be going on at the Cottonwood Recreation Center and the gymnasium, so it'll be a blast. Just want to let you know again, um, we're here uh, to, to make your day enjoyable, and so I, we hope you have a good day. And again, thank you for joining us for Inside Cottonwood. I'm your host, Richard Faust, Community Services General Manager for the City of Cottonwood.